Welcome to VBPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 21. What is Swagger in VBPI? Swagger is a documentation tool which will display all the endpoints written in VBPA application by reading the endpoints automatically. Swagger also works as a testing environment for us. We don't need to install the third party tools for testing. Swagger also provides the testing environment. So what do we need to do to get the Swagger in our Web API application? When we create the Web API application from Web API template, it will be automatically added to our application. We don't need to do or install any other components externally. If we want to see the Swagger components added, we can see those components or services inside the program.cs. These are the services added for Swagger documentation tool and if you want more information you can get that from this URL and these are the other two components added for Swagger UI. There are few questions I have prepared. So the first question here is Swagger is mandatory in Web API? No, Swagger is not a mandatory tool in Web API. We can also remove Swagger from the Web API. We will also do that test in this video. What happens if we remove Swagger from Web API? Nothing will happen. Web API keep on working. So if we remove the Swagger from Web API, we need to prepare the documentation like what are all the endpoints available and what is the input and outputs of that particular endpoint. Will the Web API project work if we remove Swagger? Yes, Web API project will work. Web API project will work without any issues. How can we test Web API if we remove Swagger? There are third party tools like Postman. We can install Postman and we can test it. These are the self questions I have prepared. Let's remove the Swagger from our application. Comment this. I have commented all the Swagger related components from the program.cs. I'm running it. After deleting the Swagger from our application, the Web API is loading the Swagger URL only. Reason for that is the launch setting. So if you want to remove this and you want to load the student API or the particular API endpoint, we need to modify the launch settings. Go to properties folder and click on launch settings.json. This is the place where the swagger is configured as the launch URL. We can modify that to student slash all. There are two profiles. We can modify in two profiles. And I'm running it now. Now this time there is no Swagger URL loaded. This time whatever the URL we have configured, that one is loading. So these are the get calls. That's why we are able to consume this from browser only. So I'm able to get the student one details and second student details like this. We can test it. If you want to test it from Postman, you can also test it. It will work. Suppose this is our Web API application. We have written few endpoints. And if we want this API to be consumed in other applications or other companies, when they are integrating in their application, they wanted to know what are all the endpoints written are given and what is the input we need to pass and what is the output we will get. This is the information we need to give it to the companies or the application builders. Instead of we preparing all this information, we just need to add the Swagger tool. Swagger tool will automatically read all the endpoints written in API application and it will generate this documentation automatically. Then we just need to share this Swagger URL with the team. When they load that Swagger URL, they can see all the endpoints, including the input and output information. Let me add the Swagger back to the application. I'm undoing the launch settings. Then I'm uncommenting the services. Now Swagger is added back to the application. I'm running it. Here are the endpoints displayed in the Swagger documentation tool. For more videos like this, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.